Hey Facebook friends, Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. I um, am getting ready to paint this. Um, I've already put my, my base coats on. I did brown and white. Um, but this project has been like sitting in my stack of things to do for a while and I wanted to come live and paint with you guys today. Hi Lisa! Um, and talk about this week like things are getting crazy around here we thought just with summer like things are crazy anyway but um my sweet husband is having surgery tomorrow hello judy and i was sitting down this morning trying to figure out like how to accomplish all the things this week that needed to get done and um as i was implementing some of the um i'm gonna call them life hacks um i thought you know what let's get on and share so um Anyway, I, there are, oh man, there's just so much going on. Good morning, Deirdre. I guess it's afternoon. Um, let's start with painting first. I should probably put my apron on. Let me grab that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab my apron. And our school colors are blue and gold. So I'm gonna grab blue and gold paint. I'm also gonna get green, white, and black. I think that's it. I think green, white, bat, black, blue, and gold. So let's let's do it. If you are not currently on my email list, um, at the very top of my Facebook page, there is. Um, if you click on the cover image. Um, we will, there's a, a link where you can go and get um, on the email list and you can find out all the new exciting stuff coming your way. Um, you can also join us for our free project, our back to school project, which that one is gonna be a little bit different than if you joined me for the kite or if you did the paid challenge, which was the, what is it called? Um, Fourth of July door hanger. Hey Lisa! So it's gonna be a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk about over the next eight weeks and um, I'm gonna use that door hanger to show you different things. So you'll get to see the whole process but it's gonna be a slow like a little step so that you can paint along with us even if you only have 30 minutes a week. So I'm excited about that. Okay I am going to start painting, let's see, I have a ruler and I am going to draw some lines on my board before I get started. So I'm going to do polka dots on one, which I think is going to be this one on the V, and then up here on my L, I'm going to make it like a referee's uniform. So I'm going to draw some straight lines. but. I need to find my colored pencils. Let's see. So I'm going to use purple just because I'm going to be using black so I can cover it up easily. And I'm going to make these lines about an inch wide. So the easiest way to do that is I just set my ruler down. Um, this first one is off center. Now I'm gonna set my ruler down a little bit less than an inch. And I'm gonna draw my next line. I'm only gonna to go to the top of this letter. I'm gonna sketch this out. And then this one. I'm gonna draw there. And I'm just gonna do that all the way across. There. Y'all feel free to ask questions. Um, if you are not on my email newsletter list, which I wouldn't really call it a newsletter, I don't send them out unless I have something great to tell you. And so it's not like every week you're getting something from me. But um, if you're not on that and you wanted to know the announcement I made today, uh, make sure that you send me a message and I can make sure you're on our you get on the list and also 
I can share with you what that announcement was. If you're already on the email list, just check your email and you should have it. Okay, good morning, afternoon, Mary. Gosh, I'm, I'm always good live in the morning, so I'm so used to saying good morning. <laughs> good afternoon, love. Mwah. Okay, so I'm painting a football sign for my little guy. We have um, the first day of pads practice. Is that how you would say it? Um, like true practice is tonight. And I'm going to put green on this E. This is going to end up looking similar to a football field, the green part. I'm going to have the hash marks. Now, I did splatter some paint on here. It's probably going to take me a little while to cover up. Hello, Dawn. Good afternoon. I did it. I just said it right. Did y'all hear that? I said afternoon. Um, I have to go grocery shopping here in a few minutes. But I'm going to get this coat of paint on, and then I'm going to show you one of my life hacks for um, finding more time to be creative and still getting, I, I don't get all the things done. Let's just be honest here. Um, I do enough to get by. We have clean clothes. Um, we don't always have healthy home cooked meals. I try, but let's just say um, I'm not perfect. And so if you're looking for perfection, um, you're gonna have to find another girl, cause it's not me. I'm guessing that most of you that hang out have figured that out by now. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank y'all for um, showing grace and loving me anyway. Okay, I'm just going to get these edges. See. Okay, and I'm going to smooth out that paint that I just put on here. This paint is, um, it's like really slick. It's like it's not catching today. Hey, Marcy. Gosh, it's been a while since I've seen you, babe. Okay, so I've got my E painted green. So now I have my brown football, my E painted green. I am going to need to put another coat of paint on my brown, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm going to want to paint over that later, and so I need that brown to be dry. Now I'm just using like a Kelly green and a chocolate brown. This is called Burnt Umber. I'm using a big brush and I'm just getting this base coated pretty much. If you're just joining me, I will be showing you as soon as I get all of the first coats on. I'm going to show you all my favorite meal planning tool. Would that be helpful for anyone? Because I know as a busy mother, meal planning, um, if, I mean, and honestly, like if you're not somebody who loves to cook, if it's not like one of your hobbies, um, it may be something that you put on the back burner too. So if you would like to know my um, favorite meal planning tool, um, give me a thumbs up and um, hang out and while we watch paint dry um, I will show it to you. I'll do a little quick tutorial on the tool and how you use it because it has been life-changing for me. At least you don't like to cook either. You know I don't mind cooking but it's not one of my favorite things to do. Um, I mean if you ask me if I want to go pull weeds or cook I would probably pull weeds I know it sounds weird. Um, it's just not my favorite. So, hopefully... <clears throat> oh, I need more brown. Hopefully that, um, the app that I'm going to show you will help some of you. And my husband, um, it was funny, I just said I needed to go to the grocery store so I could cook some meals for this week since it was going to be kind of crazy with um, not knowing what his recovery is going to look like. And he said, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat. I know I still got to feed some kiddos though so I'm gonna try to make some I, we don't, we're not huge chicken people but I realize like chicken is one of the best meats I can feed my family and so 
I was gonna make a few chicken dishes and stick them in the refrigerator so we could just heat up leftovers after football every night this week. Okay, I'm gonna put some white on and then um, a coat of black and then we will get to that first. <laughs> Mary, we'll get to that first, um, the first tip. Mary says she has plenty of weeds I can pull. Well, I really do too. But, I mean, if we're being honest, I probably, instead of pulling weeds, would come sit down and paint. <laughs> so, what I hear people say all the time, though, is, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. So, I'm going to try to find some ways over the next couple of weeks to, um, <laughs> to help y'all find some life hacks so that you can find more time to do the things you like. You'll, you'll cook if I'll pull. That is funny. If you just live closer, I would make that deal with you, love. You know this. All right, I just flip my sign around. I'm going to pick one of these stripes and paint white. Now remember, when you're doing this, the black is going to cover really well. So I don't have to go back and paint all of these. I'm just going to paint inside the ones that are going to be white. So I just picked every other and I put a coat of white on. Guess what guys? Time. All right, let me move my sign so I don't get paint all over my iPad. And I'm gonna show y'all my favorite app for meal planning. Let's see. Um, I need something to put down. Oh well, okay, let me just show you. All right guys, it's called Plan to Cook. No. No, it's not. It's called Plan to Eat. And I just got a message from a customer that says, when will you have more paint parties? I'm closed through the summer. Um, I will open back up in the fall. So if you're local and you're looking for local parties, um, I will open back up in the fall. Okay, so here is the app. I'll show you what the little icon looks like. If you can see right there. Get up close. It says Plan to Eat. Okay. So, Black Friday, I believe they do a deal every year, um, but, and that's when I ordered it, but I think it's like $40 a year, I think, so less than a dollar a week, essentially, and when you open it up, this is going to be hard to show, let's see, how am I going to show this, let's see if I can, um, maybe if I come closer, sorry, there we go, there we go. Okay, I can't turn my I, my phone the other way because Facebook won't let it show that way. But all right, so I have all these meals in here. You can see, like these are my family's favorites. Um, and honestly, by seeing them like this, it helps me remember that we don't just eat hot dogs every day of our life. Am I the only one? Um, so, I put anything in here as simple as grilled chicken breast and everything that I would need to like seasonings or whatever that I would need to go with it. I do put hot dogs on here because then if I do hot dogs, I'm going to say hot dogs, hot dog buns, um, chili, cheese, all of that because this makes my grocery list. Okay. So I want to show you, I just added, I don't know if it updated, recently added. Okay. Somebody shared, I think it was Leslie, shared this morning this creamy chicken pasta with bacon. Okay. All I had to do was grab the URL and copy it into the app, which I did it on my computer. You can do it on your computer or in the app. And it imports everything. It imports my prep time, my cook time, and all of my ingredients, every bit of it. Okay. So now... Whenever I want to add that, like let's say I'm um, getting ready to go to the grocery store and I haven't made a meal plan, I need to do that real quick. Um, so what I want to do, let me find my back button, is I can add, oh, cancel, let me see, my calendar. Okay, so let's say the 29th, I want to plan a recipe and I wanna add the creamy chicken. 
selected and I'm going to come up here to next and we're going to say we're going to do it for supper and click add. So now that's on there. So now I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to plan another recipe and I'm going to come down here. There's another chicken my family loves. It's called creamy chicken with a kick. I'm gonna click on that one. And the reason I'm cooking chicken this week is because I got a huge thing of chicken that I need to, I need to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna click next, supper, and add. All right, so now I have the 29th and the 30th. I'm gonna click right here, plain recipe. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna have to find it, is not with chicken. Let's see. And um, I'll tell you, if you do end up getting the app, I think I have a, I have a link that um, you can sign up with. And if you do get the app, I think I can share recipes with you and vice versa. So like we can share recipes. I'm looking, y'all give me just a minute. I know it's in here cause I made sure last night. Hmm, where's my search button? Missing a course. Which one is missing a course? Nope. Um, lunch? Nope. Main course? Sorry guys. We're watching paint dry, right? I'm having trouble remember when it's called. Okay, I might just have to pick one and show you with that. Okay, so let's just say my third one is going to be sausage and potato skillet. Next, let's put it on supper. It doesn't really matter where you put it. We're going to click add. Then I'm going to come down here, if y'all can see this, I'm going to click on my groceries. Okay, so it tells me, it breaks it into categories, baking, dairy, dry goods, meat, produce, spices, everything that I'm going to need. And it tells me right here my next seven days. So I could say this week, next 14 days, today only, however you want to do it. But I have these three meals is what I needed to make sure that it, it showed me. So after I do this, let's see, how do I, let me see. I usually print it from, um, that's not what I want to do. How do I get back? Okay. Oh, look at that. So 1950, I just looked, 1950 is what I paid for it on Monday, November 26th. So it must've been a Black Friday deal. And then it's $39 a year without the Black Friday special. Okay, so let's go back to the grocery list. And then let me see if I can print it. Manage categories, no. I don't know if I can print it from the app. Let me turn it around so I can look. Sorry guys. Um, I usually get on my computer and print, but there should be a way. Favorite store, add new item. List. Nope, that's not it. Shopping list, staples list. Okay, so I'm sorry. I don't know where the print button is. But if you get on your, you can either write, write it off from here and you can take things off. This is kind of fun. So like if I already know I have olive oil, I just click right here and I can just shoot. Let's see, how do I do this? It's not going to let me do that either. So usually I just delete it. List. Oh, there you go. You just click on it. Sorry. And then onion powder. I just click on it. And so I can take all these things off of my list. And then when I would go in to print it, it would only print the things I need to pick. Okay. So that is how this is like, this is my favorite. Sorry, looking at it this way is a little bit hard. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt, crushed red pepper flakes, paprika. I don't need any of that. I don't need butter. I need cream. I need heavy cream. Parmesan cheese, chili powder I don't need. I think I do need cumin. Pasta. So anyway, this is your list. It's made your grocery list. 
And what's even more awesome is then if you will click over to like Kroger or Walmart, you can actually like order your groceries from this list and add the other stuff you need and then it'll be waiting to be picked up. So, um, I already have that too. So anyway, this is my favorite app for meal planning. And I'm actually gonna use this grocery list here in just a few minutes when I'm done painting so that I can go get food for my family for this week. Okay, so let me back this back up. Sorry guys, Let's see. And let me get my son back. And y'all have to let me know if you try that app. I promise it's easier than I made it seem. Um, it's just, I was trying to do it backwards. Okay, so he's got our love. I'm gonna move this up again. There we go, there we go, there we go. There, maybe now I can see y'all. Okay, so now we have our love is ready to add some more coats. I'm gonna do my green next. Get my brush all. Um, if you didn't see what I did, when my brush comes straight out of the water, um, I just blot it on a microfiber towel and I do my bristles back and forth to get them back in shape. And this green that I have is super watery. I'm not sure why. So I may need to see if I can't find a different green. Um, here, let me try this one. I'm gonna put it in there with the other green. And see if it works better. Oh yeah, guys, that makes all the difference. Sometimes it's just the paint. So the paint I was using is um, a Michaels brand. And then I just switched to the Deco Art and it covered really well. So sometimes it's just your paint. Who's on their lunch break? Anybody? I had something else I was gonna tell you guys about, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, um, I have a surprise project coming up in September. Uh, you guys can put the date on your calendar. It's gonna be the week of September 22nd. And I'm hoping everybody will join in. It's gonna be super fun. And side note, it'll get your door ready for fall. So, anyway. Okay, so there's my green. Covered much better. It's still gonna need one more coat. I'm gonna leave this brush with green in it. And I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. Not a lot smaller. But a, a brush where I can paint my lines. Um, and not worry about getting outside of these lines. Okay, so to paint my um, crisp clean lines, I load my brush and go slow. So I just wiped some of the excess paint off right here in the middle. Oh man, I did the one that I painted white. Oh well, I'll have to go back. So I just go slow. And I wanna show you this crisp clean line. Let me show y'all how, how sweet that looks. Now just look at this bottom line. You see that, how clean that is? So that's how you get that crisp clean line, is you just load your brush, wipe off your excess paint, and then go slow. Now, if you're like me and it's easier for you to paint one direction or the other, you could flip your board at this point. For me, it's easier 
to get my crisp line along the top of my paintbrush and the bottom, but I'm gonna persevere here, make it work. One of the ladies, or a couple of the ladies last week suggested a Lazy Susan, and that is a fantastic idea. So next time, if you're at Walmart or Target or wherever, that would be a really awesome thing to add to your um, craft room or craft area is a Lazy Susan. painting my edges, just wrapping it around. <laughs> Let me tell y'all another tip, especially if you have a family and have lots of kids in the house. Um, um, I'm kind of like the laundry Nazi. I don't like to iron, but I want our clothes to look decent. And so I like to hang everything up while it's still damp. Does anybody else do that? Have any other laundry Nazis out there? Let me know if, you, if I do, and I'll tell you my tip for organizing your laundry for the week. If, you, um, if you're like me and you want your clothes to look good and be hung up as soon as they are damp and warm so that they can be shaped well, um, what I do is, oh, I need to cover that, is I, um, I sort into black and white, or darks and light, sorry. But then I take my dark load, which is usually the things that need to be hung up, and I sort that again with a load that only has the things that need to be hung up. So I can put some things in there that don't need to be hung up, but all the things that have to be hung up go into one load so that I'm only having to um, really watch one load to pull out all the things that need to be hung up. Does that make sense? Tell me if I need to say that again because that might have not come out right. Um, but essentially the rest of my loads can go to the washer and the dryer. All right, I'm just covering up where in the middle of this I didn't get enough paint. Oh man, there was black in my brush. Y'all are really quiet today. I usually come on in the morning. I'm thinking that my my crowd must be y'all in the morning. Y'all are super quiet. Okay. Oh, this was espresso. That's not what I want. I'll just one. As soon as I finish this brown, I'm gonna go back to my green. Because it's gonna need at least one more coat. It's a Monday. <laughs> Is that why you're quiet, love? Because it's Monday? I understand that. I'm trying to get a week's worth of work done in a day how successful I'm gonna be. But I'm gonna give it the good old college try. Is anyone gonna try that app I showed you? You'll have to let me know if that's helpful. 
Um, I love how easy it is for me to import my recipes. I can just go and find the link online and paste it in and boom. It puts everything where it's supposed to be. Now sometimes I have to edit it a little bit. That's a good idea. Yes! Yay! I'm glad that was helpful. Um, another thing that I tend to do with having kids is if I have a lot of laundry, like let's say we just got back from vacation or I'm gone and whatever. Um, if I have a whole lot, I'll also sort it by the, the stuff that doesn't have to be hung up, I'll sort it by person. Um, or at least put mine and my husband's together and my kids together. That way there's less, less sorting that needs to be done after it comes out. Morning the summer break. Oh, boo. Marcy, the name of the app is Plan to Eat. And um, I have a link I can send you. Because um, I think if you sign up with my link, it will make it so like we could share recipes. So if anyone wants to have that link and not just sign up normally, let me know and I'll find that for you. Because then if, um, I don't know, my sister and I share recipes like that. And sometimes it's fun to have some new stuff that, you know, other families like and not just a recipe online that may or may not fall flat with your family. I'm, I can't get the paint out of my brush today. I think I need to go get new water. Oh, I know what one of the other things I was going to tell y'all. So, um, I think I told y'all last week I'm taking this course online. And um, she said today, like we're a third of the way through the course. And she was like, go do something for yourself that you haven't done for yourself in a while. And normally, I try to keep my nails done. But I can't always afford or have the time to go get them done. So, um, there is a company called Color Street. I don't know if y'all have heard of it. Look at this. They're nail polish strips. Because um, one of the things that I, I love to get my nails um, done with the shellac, but I hate how hard it is for the stuff to come off, like how you have to soak them. So this right here, um, I still use the acetone if I'm using glitter to get it off, but it comes off with regular nail polish remover. Oh my gosh, love them. So I'm actually taking these with me tomorrow while I sit and wait for my husband to finish up um, at the surgery center. And um, I'm gonna apply my color straight because there's no, no real mess. Like I have to pick up those little pieces that I cut off, but um, Sherry, yes, it is there. I love, I love it. Um, I used to sell way back when Jamberry, and I really loved the concept of Jamberry, but I didn't like um, how you had to work them off of your nails with like olive oil, and sometimes even then it would still take the finish off. And so um, this to me was like a really great alternative. Hey Ashley, welcome. It's Monday afternoon. I'm never on in the afternoon, so this is like really weird. Um, so our school colors, yes, they're made with real nail polish. That's why you can take them off with nail polish remover, which I love. Um, and I need to. I have girl. I bought some, and they were supposed to be coral. I think they're like a bright orange, and they're glitter, which. In theory, it was really good, but I was looking at them going, man, I wish I could exchange because I'm would. i not ever going to wear them. Okay, so our colors are blue and, ooh, blue and gold. So I've got my blue. It's just called bright blue. And I'm going to get my big paintbrush. And we're going to paint over. I'm going to get the green out. We're gonna paint over this white right here with blue because what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put yellow and maybe white 
polka dots on top of this blue. Hey, if y'all haven't signed up for the free back to school project, go to the, my Facebook page and at the top with my cover image, make sure you click on that and it'll take you to a link or a page where you can um, sign up and get the free template and you can paint with us. It's going to be the week of September the 22nd that we'll be painting that together. Don't hold me to that date, but I think that's the, I think that's the week. It's going to be super fun. And you can customize it with your kiddo's teacher's name. You can make more than one if you have multiple teachers. Another great thing about that project is I give you two sizes. So you can even just paint it on um, a clipboard which is going to be fun. And that way you don't even have to cut a sign, but you can do a cute back to school gift for your teacher. Now I, I hear what you're thinking in your head. Some of you, well, I'm not, well, my kids will already be back at school. Well, that's okay. It can be a couple weeks into school before your teacher gets their gift. Um, it's totally okay. Teachers like surprises anytime. I think Isn't that right. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. This is where we're at. I've got to let a lot dry. Um, but, as soon as that dries, I'm gonna put another coat on, and then another coat on, and then another coat on. So, I don't know, because it, I don't know if it's just real humid in here today or what, but it's not drying fast at all. Sherry says, yes, and am I saying your name right, love? Um, she says, yes, they do. They like gifts any time. So you can give your teacher a gift, even if it's second or third or fourth or 25th week into school, they're gonna love it. So I'm excited about that. Um, so if you wanna paint that project with us, make sure you've signed up and you've gotten your template. And then um, you'll get another email closer to time to remind you to join us for the project. You'll need to be in the Facebook group, not on the page, in the group, which after you sign up, there will be a page that'll have that link. If you have trouble finding it, just let me know. Um, but if you don't wanna paint the, if you don't wanna cut out the door hanger, um, just grab a clipboard next time you're at Walmart. Dollar Tree has them, I'm not sure about the quality, but um, I know your teacher will like it. I would not get Oh, and your librarians, yes. Um, I would not get plastic because you're probably gonna have trouble with your paint coming off. But if that's all you can find or if that's what you really want, by golly, we can make it work. So, all right, friends, I am gonna let this dry for a while. I'm gonna run to the grocery store and go get on my plan to eat app. And um, I will probably come back later in the week and finish painting this. So thank y'all for hanging out with me for a little while this afternoon. I hope that the laundry tip or the grocery shopping tip, well, meal planning slash grocery shopping, um, was helpful. If you have questions or you missed it, start back at the beginning. I'll post it live or I'll post the live video in just a minute. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye guys.